Oh, wow. It's so much brighter. How are you going to turn it on? So it's right here. Wow, really? You have to use the broom? Yeah, that's, that's the only way you do it. Uh, Come on, baby. Welcome back to another Nutty New video. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of my one car garage. We just moved into this new place here, super still. At our old place, I never had a garage. I've always worked outside, worked out the ranch, um, and used people's garage. Thank you, be quiet. Be quiet, daddy's making video. <coughs> I've always used a garage, or I never had a garage. I always had to go use somebody else's garage. Or 99% of the time, I've always worked on my vehicles outside, doing it the old school style. Yes, I have worked on my vehicles in the wintertime. And I think it's a good way to make you tough because when you ever, if you ever break down the trails and you have crappy weather, well, you gotta work on it. So this is my first time um, getting a one car garage. When we were shopping for a house, I was hoping to get a two car garage, but um, the house market was so dry and we just settled for this. So it's all good. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around and I'll show you guys my one car garage. All right, so this is my garage. I'm a Lincoln. Hi Lincoln, say hi. I haven't measured yet. So I'm facing the garage door right now. So I haven't made some measurements and maybe I'll do it in the future. Um, I'll go ahead and make some measurements of that right there. This right here is enough, is big enough to fit my pickup and small car, but if definitely doesn't fit my Land Cruiser. So my Land Cruiser is on four inch, 37 inch, but I think my Land Cruiser will fit through this door if I remove the roof rack. So I just haven't got to it yet, just because I don't need to put my Land Cruiser in here yet. But eventually I'll go ahead and remove my roof rack and test it out. And I haven't measured the width of it yet and also the depth of it, but it definitely fits a Toyota pickup X cab. And then you also still have like three feet of backspace. We do have a chimney, so the chimney comes out here. It doesn't have any heat in here. There's no heat in here. Whenever I plan to use heat, I got my propane and my other heater. Don't mind the stove, we're making food this weekend. So let's go ahead and start on this side. Everything is not official yet. I still have to move some stuff. Like those are my ammo can, my ammunition. I don't want to store them out here. Eventually I'm going to move those inside. And I think this will be my oil, my fluid. I have my carpet cleaner, my ozone cleaner, oils. I have I have to uh, organize all of this. Extension core, cable, all that's going to get organized. These are some tail lights for my 80 series. Um, just a bit, a little bit of miscellaneous stuff. Tarp, that's supposed to cover my tranny, which is sitting outside. I'm eventually gonna move my tranny to the backyard once all the snow melts. Propane out here right now. I just got done filling these up, so. You go home? Okay, let me put you up. Okay, go home. Go home with mommy so I can big video. Go, 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 bye bye. So that's gonna be all my spare parts. I have some gaskets for my 3.0, some projects for 3.0 and my gasket, the one the far backs for a FZ. Oil filters, I'm gonna stock parts that I use commonly, like oil filters, air filters, and things like that that's light. And then this shell here is where all my fluid's gonna be at. Small oils, windshield fluid, lubricant, um, WD-40, paint, and then also this section here is cleaning stuff, uh, shampoo and stuff. You can see this shelf is bending a little bit, so I do have some more L brackets, and I'm gonna go ahead and support that a little bit more. Uh, don't lift, don't lift, put him aside for a minute. I'm making a video. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's making a video, okay? All right, you come out here, be quiet then. Vacuum cleaner, I'm gonna put that out, eventually find space for that. Be quiet, baby. Bottles of water, we just bought that, so that's gonna be stored away. Fire extinguisher, always gonna have tons of fire extinguisher. I got one. And I got one big one down there. This would be the garage trash. This is gonna get organized a bit more. That clock is cool. And then I just went ahead and put my creeper here. I just built this um, this wood crate here. This is all made from scrap wood that I picked up for free. So I just made that cart for my welder. So this is my welding cart. So I got my 10-3 extension cable, which is rated for 20 amp, helmet and all that fun stuff. Ex extra wires, gloves down there. And the welder that I have is the Lincoln Pro Mig 140. This is a typical 140, uh, 140 Pro Mig. Plugs into your regular, not your 12 volt, your 120 amp. This GFCI right here, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a 20 amp GFCI. This is just a regular 15 amp. I got my Segway scooter. Just gonna go ahead and store my Segway out here. Shop vac is gonna stay out here. And that's all my equipment, camera stuff. I gotta move that into my room, just haven't done it yet. And then pressure washer, I just bought this one. 
Um, it's pretty much new, but I bought it and used it on Facebook Marketplace. I think the guy never used it. He used it once or something like that. But I bought it during the winter time for cheap, for like 100 bucks or 80 bucks, I think. So this is my new one. And that's my old one. My old one still works, but it just I just feel like I have for such a long time. I feel like it's starting to, it's on its last leg. So I might use that until it dies. And then I might just sell it or whatever and then get rid of it. But it's nice to have two of them. I got my jack stand or my, my jack. Four ton jack. I bought that and used on Facebook Market for a super good deal. And then this right here, I bought on I bought news as well. Everything was news on Facebook Market. I bought that engine hoist for a hundred bucks. Has been super amazing and it's been super awesome that I can now use that in my garage. Back then, I was using that on dirt, unleveled dirt and stuff like that. Super um, inconvenience. On the top is more of just family equipment like my Mr. Heater speaker. Baby, don't touch anything, baby. Don't touch. Okay. Um, this is gonna be more like family storage heater. Um, I got tons of USPS large box, and I want to. I'm gonna keep these box when I need to make like when I, whenever I'm working on oily stuff and I want to get my my stuff dirty or my floor dirty. I'm just gonna use it for layouts and stuff like that. So a bunch of family. This is not really related to my garage, but this is gonna be a storage. I got one of my brand new five gallon jug up there, and. This is a press I bought new from AIH, Alaska Industrial Hardware. This is a 12 ton press. I honestly don't use this enough. Lincoln, be quiet, Lincoln. Daddy's making a video, okay? Daddy, be quiet. My son loves the wheels. Uh, this is a 12 ton press I bought new last year. I got tired of hiring people to do wheel bearings on my axles, so I went ahead and just bought one myself. Works good so far. I rarely ever use it. Maybe once a year. If I'm lucky, I may use it twice a year. So I might move this into my uh, my outdoor shed just so I have more room. And then this right here is my favorite thing that I just bought. I literally just bought this last week at Home Depot. This is a 46, I believe, by a 24, um, two, four, eight, nine drawer, drawer system. So this is from Home Depot Husky. Super amazing makes things so much easier and i got this for 500 498 so that's my little new station right here this will be my workstation and some stuff my wee whacker air pro i pro um some keys nail clipper miscellaneous section here got some photos down here didn't want to put these in the house so decided to put these out here that was my 2019 moves uh lincoln and i and my wife and i when we were like young couples and then all my tools i'm not gonna go through all my tools maybe i'll go through the or maybe i'll make another video of my tools if you guys are interested in it you guys let me know in the comments and i'll make a video about it i don't have any of the fancy tools. all my stuff is pretty much basic only stuff that i use and then eventually i'm gonna build my charger station down here <laughs> this toolbox does have a um, outlet on the side of it so that's where i'm getting power for all this light right here so eventually I'm gonna build these guys. I might maybe I might just leave them on the floor. I might hang them up or something. And then up here is my fly rod helmet just for decor. This is all my grease. I I put them in this section here because I when I I only use them whenever I use grease. And then just a bunch of miscellaneous item, house item, vacuum seals. This shelf here needs to be organized more. Um, my carbon up. Uh, fire alarm and color oxide. I need to hook those up. They work right now though um, But I need to organize these uh, my power tools. I need to find a way to organize my power tools. These are all my Drills and brushes and stuff like that And then my grinder. I got to find a place to put this. Maybe I'll make like a small desk But I don't even use well. I the only thing I use on this is the brass bush in there for grinding bolts and stuff cleaning bolts and stuff so maybe I'll put that, I'll make a desk for that or something like that. And then these right here are my rigid box. These are when I need to put my tools in here and keep them in my car. Let's say we go off-roading and I need to take my important tools. Um, this is what they're for. So they're right here, easy to access. And then my spare engine, my one FZ FE from my Lexus LX450 I part out last year. I just got done transferring this engine from my old place to here. Eventually, I want to, so the plan is eventually I want to clean, this engine is still good. It's just super dirty, super leaky. Eventually, I might want to do a full top and rebuild, new gas, new head gasket. I don't want to do um, piston build up, or I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to rebuild the pistons or anything like that. I just want to take it apart, new gasket, new head gasket, and all the new guts and stuff like that. 
and keep it for spear. Eventually, that's the plan. But if I don't do that, this might just sit, sit, sit here for a while. Or I might move this outside to my outdoor because it is taking a little bit of room. But it is nice to have yeah. a spear engine. And then this freezer here is our main freezer that we keep extra meat. The only reason it's in here right now because it's fully loaded. But eventually, I want to transfer this um, to the outside because there's a spot outside my backyard that I can store that. So that's going to be gone soon. And then this right here is my additional jack. If you guys like to work on your vehicles, trust me, it's worth having two jacks. And if you guys get a jack like that one, and also one that's like this, which is like made for transmission, <coughs> it's super convenient. Um, it's super convenient to have. So that's just another jack. Eventually, once I get rid of all this, uh, my two jacks will be together and they'll be more nice and pretty. And coat hanger, this right here goes to my backyard. I don't want to show you guys my backyard yet because it's super messy, unorganized. Um, but eventually, we'll get to that eventually. This shelf here was originally here when we bought the place. It was left here from the previous owner. Those fire extinguishers were left here from the previous owner. They still look good, so they still work, I think. Let me check. But it's always good to have these. Yep, it still works. So I will be keeping this shelf um, just because it's really convenient right now. Some miscellaneous tools that I probably won't use. Trash bags, shop towels. Maybe I'll put my latex glove over here as well. Um, extra bins for when I take parts apart and dirty stuff like that. Um, I got some brushes in here, some miscellaneous tools that I need to go through and trash them away if I need to. And then here's the GFCI that I was talking about. I'm actually gonna put this one outside because there's an outlet outside because whenever I weld, I wanna weld outside just so that this place garage doesn't get smelly. But eventually I'm gonna install this one outside and then I might get another one inside. If you guys are new to electrical, uh, the 20 amp has that T section. You see how one side has a T? If it was a 15 amp, it just has two slots down. So that's how you know what's the 15 and 20. But these are parts that I need to install. Clean this hardware. These were locks and stuff that I was doing when I was hooking up the hinges and stuff like that. These are some more brackets. I might put more of these on my water cart. Uh, my hammers. I'm gonna find a place for these because I don't like the way they are right now. But eventually I'm gonna find a place for these hammers because these, this one here is my main. This is my big purse. And then these are my favorite gloves that I love using right now. The Milwaukee. I love using these. These are much more better than latex. Uh, and shop tail. These are all gonna get organized. I have an extra pair of welding gloves. These are my old ones. I might actually throw these away because they're pretty old. Uh, my pressure washer. That's gonna get hooked up soon. Fish whacker. I'm eventually gonna hang up more stuff here. This was already here. And this ladder here is very convenient. It's like a six foot ladder. So I can access anything that's high or if I need or or if my wife needs it for the kitchen since our cabinets are super tall she can get that ladder so I'm gonna keep that ladder in here and I can also use that ladder to access stuff on top and besides that these are just packaging box from U-Haul that we just got done using oh, for our package awesome. <coughs> I decided to keep them because whenever I'm doing oil change in here I want to lay them down just so that oil and anything doesn't get onto this concrete um, just because I want to preserve this concrete because it's such a good floor. I don't want this concrete to get all oily, smelly, and dirty. So that's the reason why I'm keeping these cardboard boxes. My six-ton jack stands, I have four of them. I highly recommend you guys have four. If you guys love working on your vehicle, two at the minimum, but four is super nice. These were all bought on Facebook Marketplace News. Still good. Um, you also find good deals like that. I bought this brusher push broom here. Brand new. Had to buy one of these from... AH because like I said now you that you have a garage you got to maintain your garage and the nice thing about this one is that it has a broom and then also has a sweeper that red that red piece that's for pushing water you having fun baby yeah so it's good to have a two-in-one <laughs> this is a purple power for degrease um crossbars I don't use that really much I'm selling those right now um this bucket here is my washing so this is the this is purple power and then this is all my this is when i need to wash my vehicles and stuff like that this is all that two curl bars for doing heavy duty stuff big fire extinguisher this one still works and i believe i bought that and used too i haven't used that in a couple of years so hopefully it's still good uh, i got my grease gun easily right here levels um i have two guns for my pressure washer uh one for my old one and then one new when i bought that new one it's good to have backup because 
sometimes these do fail this is my little snow broom for the car i might get that away because the season's off right now um summer right now and then my buddy had an extra uh winch fair lead hostly so kept that and that's pretty much it and again everything still needs to be organized i'm still trying to get a feeling of what i want to do let me know if you guys have any upgrades you guys done or any tips there's only one light source which was this one here and let me tell you guys it is, it is not bright so only this light source is in this house and then or at least in this garage so i went ahead and ordered these amazon these are some amazon strips I'll add them in the, I'll put the links in the video description. And the nice thing is that they hook up and then you can hook it up to the next one and the next one. And then they, and they come with, they come with all this stuff. So I got one, two, three, four, five. And then I might, I don't need to put anything over here. And then I put one down at my, oh, my shop, my shop center. It comes in a pack of eight. And I believe I have two that I haven't used yet. And this other two I'm going to put in my office room. But I might order another set because these are so nice. But let me show you guys the difference. So let me turn on. Let me turn on that light. And then, like I said, I just showed you guys. Uh, there's a switch up here. So right now I'm just using a broom. So that's what it looks like, guys. So horrible lighting. That one light source is not enough to light over here and it's not enough to light over here so highly recommend these they're super inexpensive comes in a pack of eight and let me show you guys pack of eight and they're like 62 bucks so look at that difference guys super big difference so if you guys are looking for a cheap friendly uh way to put some lights in your garage or your shop or whatever or your bedroom so whatever the case is um they're super nice they're super light too um, so they're held by two metal brackets that come with it. And it's just, so far it works good. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, maybe I'll make another video reel if one day they die out. But I'll keep you guys posted on how long they last. But so far they're nice. And they're nice and bright white. They're not like yellowish. You can see that one there is kind of yellowish. And when you're working in a garage, you want everything to be nice, pure white. So that's going to wrap it up. Go home, baby. Go, go. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um... I hope you guys enjoy my quick tour of my garage, one car garage. And if you guys want to see another video of my tools, tools and stuff, let me know. Maybe I'll take the time and give you guys a quick glimpse of that. But for the most part, pretty simple, nothing too crazy. And again, this is my first time having a garage. So if you guys have any tips or tricks or any, any things that's like must have in your garage, let me know in the comment section and maybe I'll pick that up. But... I'm just gonna go with the flow and I'll learn as I go. Uh, if I need anything else for this one gar car garage, super blessed, super thankful to have this garage now. And I think it's just pretty amazing. I can't wait to work on the vehicles in here and not be outside freezing, especially in the winter time, stuff like that. So that's gonna wrap it up. See you guys next time.